Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to talk about the future of homelessness in America and how homelessness is going to be a reoccurring and growing problem in the years to come. Because rent and housing and the cost of living, medication, pharmaceutical drugs, education is going to get so high that America will eventually devolve into a third world country. We're already a third world country on paper being $35 trillion in debt. We will soon be a third world country. In reality. See this country survives off debt and wars. Our military is what made us strong. But we don't treat our service members with respect. Who remember the movie um, The First Blood with Sylvester, Sylvester Stallone? First Blood. That was about a, a, a vet. An American vet that came home from the war. And you know who his number one enemy was? The sheriff. The police. That was his enemy. No one else had a problem with him. His number one enemy was the police. See? He was homeless. He was coming through town, trying to find a place to work, make some money, just find, you know, just, just coming back to the United States. And when he came back to the United States, his, his enemies treated him better than his or just the same his enemies treated him the same as his countrymen his enemies his enemies in Vietnam beat him and tortured him his countrymen in the United States beat him and tortured him when he came back home after being a POW See? So there's a lot of vet veterans right now that are POWs. They are still prisoners of war. Well, we can call them POEs. Prison of a, a collapsed economy. Prison of poverty. Prisoners of capitalism. POCs. We'll call them POCs. A lot of us are POCs. A lot of us are prisoners of capitalism. And we're being tortured. I'm going to do a different video on that. That's a good one. That's a good topic. So anyway, guys. So yeah, so the veterans are, are, are you know, they're, they're suffering. You know, the VA is not serving them properly. They should always have a home, even if it's on a military base. They should always have a place to lay their heads. All right. There are 35,000 veterans that are homeless in the United States. 90% of them are men. 10% of them are women. See? So we got a major, we got a main, a, a, a big problem. They're, the veterans are killing themselves every day in this country. And when you think of veterans, you think of the ones from Vietnam and World War II. No, no, I'm talking about modern veterans from, from the Iraq Afghanistan war. A lot of veterans got hooked on drugs, pharmaceutical and illicit and illegal drugs while they was in the military. They come home, they still hooked on drugs, pharmaceutical and 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 illegal drugs. So a lot of a lot of veterans got P, um, PTSD. 
you know. So it's a problem, guys. So let's read about it. Hold on, guys. Okay, guys, check this out. According to a, I'm just gonna skip the, the first part because it doesn't have anything to do with it. According to a report published by the United States Department of Veteran Affairs, the VA, in 2016, which analyzed 55 million veterans, records from the ninth from 1979 to 2014. The current analysis indicates that an average of 20 veterans die from suicide per day. In case you don't know what suicide is, is when you unalive yourself. You OD on pharmaceutical drugs. You hang yourself. You shoot yourself. You run in front of a train. You jump off a bridge. Cut your wrist. That's how you unalive yourself. Hold on, guys. Okay, guys, so let's take a look at the numbers. In January 2023, 35,374 veterans were experiencing homelessness in the United States, which is a 7% increase from 2022. See, so guys? So the increase is going to get, continue to get worse and worse and worse. Because veterans have families. See? And they can't take care of their families. Their families may experience homelessness too. More families, more children, more parents, more uncles, more fathers, more brothers, more sisters. A lot of people are going to experience homelessness over the next 10 or 20 years as the inflation, as we have runaway inflation. It's going to get worse and worse. Let's read some more stats. Sheltered homelessness, 20,000 veterans. Unsheltered homeless, 15,000. Some other statistics about veteran homelessness includes veteran homelessness by gender, 88% of men, 11% of women. Veteran homelessness by race. Black veterans are overrepresented, making up 31% of homeless veterans' population. Veteran homelessness by geography. California has the highest concentration of homeless veterans, accounting for 30% of the total. Veterans age 18 to 34 and 45 to 54 are the most likely to experience homelessness. The VA has a goal to house 41,000 veterans experiencing homelessness. Veterans are, are, are homeless or at risk of homelessness to call this number. You guys, so this this is a major problem and it's going to continue to get worse. Let's read this statistic. Uh, in 2022, there were more than 580,000 individuals in need of housing in the United States. And while less than 10% of the people in America are veterans, almost 13% of the adult population experiencing homelessness is made up of veterans. See, we, how we do not take care of those who defend us. We do not honor our veterans. We like the cop worship in this country. And you call a cop, you're putting your life at risk if you call the police officer to assist you. Because a lot of them are power tripping, overzealous. A lot of women with weak minds that are influenced by the power to take away your freedom and to steal from you because a lot of cops are thieves also. I hate to say it, guys. I, I, I hate to say it. Just do the research. Just do the research. You know, cops are allowed to lie to you. The Supreme Court said cops can lie to you, deceive you, and trick you. Creating false evidence. Creating fake statements, creating fake documentation. They can do all kinds of stuff. They're, they're total pathological liars. I'm sorry. And they can do that legally. That's why you should never talk to them. But that's, this video is not about that. So, anyway, guys, so this is this is the state of America right here. Our veterans. 
And like I said before, not only the veterans, but also the general population are POCs, prisoners of capitalism. You know? And that's a, that's a major problem in this country. A lot of people can will not be able to afford to live in this country. And a lot of these gig apps, Uber, DoorDash, Lyft, Instacart have trapped a lot of people in the POC. Prisoners, prisoners of capitalism. That's just the bottom line, guys. So, guys, that's it for this video, guys. I just want to continue to shed light on on our our on our our veterans. I want to continue to shed light on our veterans and showing you and exposing the contradiction and the hypocrisy of Americans. The banks that finance and send your children to war. The military complex, the pharmaceutical companies, they all benefit from your ignorance and your stupidity and your nationalist ideologies, assuming that America is here for you. No. America is here for America it's as a corporation, the 10% of the people who are consuming all the wealth. Are hoarding all the wealth. See? While they're using you, the mortgage holders, the workers, they're using you to fund their power structure by overtaxing you, by inflation, greedflation. Shrinkflation. Okay, guys, that's it for this video, guys. Remember, guys, to download and deploy your anti malware software, debug and unplug from the Matrix. Guys, you are in the Matrix. And the sooner you realize that you're working for the Matrix, then the Matrix is using you as an energy source. The Matrix, the matrix is draining all of the juice out of you until you turn to a raisin. And once you turn to a raisin, they're going to make raisin toast out of you. They're still not done with you. They're going to toast you, butter you up, and feed you to the monster. Feed you to the beast, the aliens, the dragons. So guys, remember, to keep your life clean, keep your body clean, keep your mind clean, keep your diet clean. Keep your car clean. Guys, drink plenty of spring water to flush out the toxins, the chemicals, and the poisons in the food supply. Guys, you've already been poisoned. You've been micro poisoned every day. And since you're operating in your lower self, you're also poisoning your, your pets and your children. Don't let, this, don't let this be your future, guys. Those dumpsters are going to get full quick. And they're going to get expensive. Do not let this be your future. Do not let this be your future. Make plans, make arrangements, sell all that you have right now. Go ahead and get you a van right now. Get you a piece of land right now, something small. Prepare now. Get rid of the mortgage. The mortgage is a liability. It's taking money out of your pocket every month. Even if it's paid off, it's still costing you on average. On average, it's still costing you $1,000 a month with taxes and insurance. Probably, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to say $2,000 a month. Yeah, I'm saying on average $2,000 a month because the average house right now costs $400,000. So $400,000, even if the house is paid off, you still paying, you still paying 20 grand, 15 to 20 grand in taxes. And then you got to pay insurance. I don't know how much your insurance is depending on where you live. If you live in California, that, that's, it's, it's even worse. If you live in Florida, it's even worse. The lot rent and the trailer parts are going up. That's going to be unaffordable. So there's no escaping, guys. 
you're going to have to get your van. Get it as soon as possible so you can learn how to, how to adopt a new way of living. You may have to go back to the old days. Instead of having a horse and buggy, you have a van. That's how we used to do it, guys. And you just source all your resources, everything that you need. Source it from the communities that you live in. Whether you live in Dallas, Austin, Sedona, Flagstaff, Cottonwood, Peoria, Denver, wherever you live, use the community that you live in and source, get your resources from there. Get your, get your Planet Fitness membership. You can work out. Learn how to think outside of the box because the, the box is poison. Get the hell out of the box. The box is killing you. Exercise, drink plenty of water, drink plenty of spring water, not the purified water because that's tap water. That's just water. They just sell you some, some BS. Purified, no, not purified, spring water. Okay, guys, until next time, guys, I'm Countryman777. I'm bringing you the truth, the enlightenment, third eye vision, guys, from the universe. The downloads come from the universe. This is I'm not profiting from this. I'm giving you the knowledge, the information, the wisdom, and, our, and the understanding to adapt a new way of thinking. Can't rely on the government, the system, to do all the thinking for you. The matrix is alive and it's growing. It's getting stronger. Protect yourself. Okay, guys, until next time, guys, I'm Country Band 777, and I'm signing off. Peace.